what I want to show you today is to how you can uh, export an STL file with a different quality of uh, the shape. So the first one, it's uh, here. Let's say you can go to tools options and use, and you can use a different display performance of the surfaces. Let's say here now I have 001. I mean this the, the quality is very good. So if I will go to let's say one, you will see the quality is not so so good. So if you we will keep like this, so you can see in the rendering is not looking very well. So now when you want to go and save this shape to to an STL file. So let's put here quality one. Now when you, you want to see the, the shape exported, you can go to a new product and import this new exported STL file. And here you can see the shape how is looking so the, the triangles are very big so the, when you want to print something on the 3d printer you will see a very bad quality of the surface uh, one more uh, way to do the same thing is to go here in um, your katia modules so you can go to <coughs> machining and STL rapid prototyping and here in this module you can change again the quality of the surface here it doesn't matter what you selected in the options so what you can do is go here in tessellation select the surface that you want to change the tessellation and change the sack to something Smaller, something let's say zero zero one. Play apply and okay. And you can see here the tessellation, and also you can see in the part design. I mean, in this module, you can see if you go to the rendering style, so you can go to the wireframe. You can see here the, the triangles are much, much smaller, so the quality at the end. It will be it will be very very good. So you can export also this one. Go to file save us and click again st stl. So let's say tessellation zero zero one. So now when you go again here and import this product, this part. You will see the quality, it's very good. So this is the, the two ways that you can change the quality of your exported STL files in, in Katia. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.